this position here. Cross and in. Now, as soon as you come to here, through this way, palm heel to the nose, all right? From here, cut, through, strike. Okay, right. There, move. Come through, strike. Okay, in court with one of those. Yeah? Yeah? Shakes you to your toes, doesn't it? All right? So people say, yeah, but sensitive, you don't, what if, what if, what if, what if's nothing? Okay, let me come around and hit you there and see if you can what if. <laughs> Ain't gonna happen, all right? Right, from there. That's up! Straight in, close. Lock the arm, bang! Wear that one. Okay, from here, move, strike, engage, and flatten. Strike. Everyone okay with that? Yes. Let's go and play. Here, this section will, will collapse. Yeah. So you just come straight down here. Okay? Yeah. So right down, almost like the old sandbag training. Bang, you know, like that. Straight down. Crack, right down. Yeah. Okay. Maintaining eye to eye contact at all times. Here. Never taking the eyes off. Hands always in a passive defensive position. Now, you may have to move around this side in a sec because it takes a bit of explaining. It's a very simple, logical technique. But it requires a little bit of explaining because it's so stupidly simple, right? Simple things, simple things take explaining. Right, from here, all we're gonna do, you want to feel the point of the knife. If you can't feel the blade, it could be half inch away from you, it could be three inches away from you. Is that a fair comment? Yes, yes. Because we maintain eye to eye contact, which we probably are probably go, oh my god, don't do it. <laughs> Just nice and relaxed, mate, all right? Okay, you're not gonna be going. You know, trying to judge this shit, right? He's going to get really, really angry, all right? So, from here, remember what we said about losing a small quantity of blood? Got our best T-shirt and our best shirt. Push your stomach forward. Feel it. If you can feel it, the most you're going to get is a nick. We're not worrying about a nick, are we? Not really. All right? So, from here, turn. Now, it is against me, sock on the front. If you breathe in, at the same time, as you turn sideways, okay, if I just freeze frame it there, because it's, it's fast, where's the cutting edge? It's flat, isn't it? If he drags it backwards, which I'm gonna stop him doing anyway, I've got the flat side, okay? He's not gonna be able to turn it this way because I've already pushed in and stepped on. Look at my elbow. Okay, I'll come onto the lock in a minute. From here, eye to eye contact. Turn yourself, there, back. Strike. Okay, let's just go for this, this is the complicated bit. From here, breathe in and turn sideways and move onto the weapon, not away from it. From here. See the logic of that? From here, in, turn, strike. Come on the underside of the wrist, keep it teeth. We're now going to put my knee onto the elbow. Place the knee onto the elbow and remove the knife. Okay, let's just get this trap right. So we'll cover this later anyway, <coughs> later on this afternoon. But from here, there, turn sideways and cut nice and close. Bang, let him have one. Hand on the other side, turn it to you and down. In the elbow, remove the knife. Okay, we've got a few minutes left. Just try that trapment first of all. From here, breathe in, <coughs> turn sideways, right? Where to go? Try and help. Just watch the hands here. Okay. From here, step in. Take the answer from there. In. Turn. Slide. First thing we're going to do, as I said before, hold the weapon this way, here, single-edged weapon, tucked behind the arm, in this manner here. If it's a double-edged weapon, the blade will run down the back of the forearm, in this position here, completely shielded. Okay? 
it's single edged, it's nicer wrapped up the back for things like kicks, defences against kicks, you want to interplay in the front. A good fighting stance, most stances for knife combat are done with the right leg leading. The weight distribution, concave, slightly bent forward, keep a lower profile, weapon tucked in. This hand, what we call the snake hand, is the hand, like a dummy hand, that is going to be kept up at their eye level. So that, they may be aware that the weapon is there, no problem, but also this hand here is going to act as a dummy hand. Because it's human nature, if somebody's waving their hand about your eyes, although you're looking, one you know they've got this, your eyes are still going to be watching all the time when you're watching the hand. If you don't know what this hand's going to do, you can understand the logic behind that, <coughs> rather than just... Okay, it's more, it's more there. Nice and low, you don't stand it upright, nice and low, weapon across, waiting for them to make a move. Okay, it's coming round, in a circular action, whether it be a punch, or somebody's got a hold of a bottle or a club, and they're going to come round, or, and they have a weapon themselves, they're going to come round to you. Anything in a circular action, this way. Do it slowly, first of all. Here, as it comes in, you're going to cut through and take the neck. From here, through. Why some guy can arm coming in and running his bicep on the cutting edge? Okay, if you were to lay solely on that, so what we're doing from here as it comes in, we're letting the attacking arm run onto the blade. We're not hacking his arm with the blade, we're just purely bringing the weapon up into a blocking action. His own limb will do the damage. Advancing, we're now going to come under the floating ribs into a clean cut. Punch it. Turning the blade, we're now going to come straight across the throat. Okay. Now, until someone invites a Kevlar scarf, you're in trouble. All right. When that runs across there, it's curtains. All right. So, from here, straight through, nice and fast, straight up. It's more. Is everyone okay with that? Four. Round house. So, there. This time we're going to come much further round. Drive it straight into the groin. Just turn around here. Okay. You're blocked. Drive the weapon straight into the groin. Through. Gone. Once more slowly. Lock. Drive the weapon into the groin. Retract the weapon. Push up and through. Cut. Cut. All right. That's it. There we go. Now, so you might want to cut through the arm. <laughs> right, as you come through there, change your grip. Pull back. Pull it back. Yes. Over. That comes through, cuts the back of the arm. Yeah. You have to twist the knife. Yeah. Like like just from there to there. there. Right, there. Here, lock, punch through on the kidneys. Through, take, pull the jawline towards you. And you move. From here, so all you're going to do is just bring the blade up to the outside, punch through. There. Punch through. Turn the blade towards you. Jaw. Is everyone happy with that? Yes. Okay. Would you like to see it again? Yes. Good angle.
trip like that's come to an end. Punch through. I was just going to come round back here onto the jawline. Pull the jaw towards you. Behind the back, kept shielded. We're going to change our stance to a left hand stance, left hand up, almost like a come on, yeah, as if you want them to come in. Right. We're going to do it from a roundhouse strike. It doesn't matter whether it's a straight attack because you just push it to one side, but just for convenience, we're going to do it as a roundhouse attack. Maybe a club, bottle, knife, anything, anything in a circular action. As the attack comes in, through. From here, we're pretty concealed. Straight through, under the groin. Cut the groin, turn. Change the knees, position up, spread the legs, weapon comes up, and stab to the rectum. Okay, now for people who haven't done this technique before, we make the final blow into the, uh, into the anus, into the re rectum. Can't Sorry? It can't be repaired, fair comment. Anything else? That's more to the point. You can't stop it bleeding. If you receive a bullet or a knife wound, what's the first thing you do to the, to the wound? Apply pressure. Apply pressure. Have you ever tried applying pressure to someone's anus? From behind. And right through, under the groin. Cut the groin on the inside of the thigh and the femoral artery. Change knees, come through, and finish. Okay, once more for this angle. Puncher, through, cut, through, change, spread the legs, and away we go. All right? Just a little point on the turn. Watch closely. From here, through, strike, come through, bring the hand down to the wrist, and in. Then bury. Through, strike, bridge up. Once you're up, you don't need the lift anymore. Bring the hand down to the weapon hand and secure the weapon hand in and bury. Okay? You understand that? Strike, through, straight in under the throat. Strike, through, over the top, and cut up. Back straight, pull the nose to the left, pull the Adam's apple to the right hand side. Everyone okay with that? Yes. Okay, you'll feel this in a minute, it's, uh, it's quite effective. There's the choke. Now, I defy any one of you to escape from that. Anyone don't believe me? Okay, excellent. I'm so glad you said that. All right. In here, you got complete control. Take the arm and kneel down. If I straighten my groin up now, I'll break his arm. Just by pushing my pelvis forward, I've got an arm break. Maintaining pressure on the throat, I'm going to turn the person over onto his belly. We're going to place the hand, do you remember earlier on about the jawline? Flat on the jaw, and there's the lock. Okay? From here, maintain the left hand on, take the right hand off, and get a lock. Okay? Simple so far? Right. This is extremely uncomfortable, so I'm going to do it very, very slowly for him, all right? <laughs> okay. From this lock, I'm going to come up 
onto my left leg, maintain this lock. I'm going to take this limb and put it behind my head. Starting with the neckline, we're going to check the neck right round to the front. I'm going to come down the breastbone, the waist, into the waistband of the trousers. No drugs or weapons. Take my leg on the outside. Seat the pants. Now, at all times, see where his arm is? At all times, it's locked up. Just try and move your arm for me. Uh, no. Okay, see. you can't do it. It's just body mechanics. You can't move. But it enables me to quite nicely move right round. Okay, I'm reasonably happy that there's nothing there. I'll come back over this side. I'll take his arm off. I ah. always maintain the ability to break his shoulders. I... You can do it nice and slowly, because he ain't going to do nothing. Now I can take that one out, because I'm substituting for this one. Left knee down, right knee up. Take the arm. Behind. I... Now, I've already done the neck, I've already done the trunk, and I've already done the waistband. So all I've got to do now is just concentrate on that leg. Fair enough? Was... Put his arm down. Come back on top. Right. I've now searched him for weapons and any uh, recreational pharmaceuticals. <laughs> okay? I'm now going to have him up on his feet. So, I'm going to put my hand into his collar. <clears throat> I'm going to take my index finger and put my index finger under his nose. If you want to come in the front, this is extremely unpleasant. I, I really wish I didn't have to do it to him. <laughs> Index finger under the nose. Put the finger onto the lip and onto the top set of the teeth and run your finger over his top teeth to the gum. See that? Onto the lip and hook the gum up. Sliding your finger across the top set of the teeth, we're going to hook his gum. Would you like to come up, sir? Aye. Excellent. Holding his gum, we let him go no farther than there. No further than that. Right. True. Wrap up. And up it comes. Strike. Maintain the ability to choke. Hook the arm. Kneel down. If you want to, break it. That'll snap it. Roll over and press. Lock. Okay, now come where you can see, please. It's a bit slippery, isn't it? Okay. Is everyone okay on that first bit? Right. From here, take the arm, lock it behind, start with the neck. Search the neck, chest, sternum, all the hollows of the body, waistband, favourite place for small calibre pistols and things. Okay, quite happy there. That is his groin guard, I can feel a hope. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm extremely worried and jealous. <laughs> Down his leg. Get rid of his arm. Maintain the ability to break. Lock this one up. Lock him up again. Just carry out a search of this leg. Okay. I'm quite happy with that. This is the key to the whole thing. Maintaining this ability on this lock here. Get a hold of his collar. He's not going to move. Just try and move for me. I mean, you really can't. You see him, he can't move. Index finger under his nose. Onto his lip. Hook his lip. Hook his gum. Okay, can you come up, sir? Aye. Excellent, up you come. Nice and easy, sir. All right, just wait there for me. Excellent, up you come. There he goes. And walking backwards, why? You're in control of the weight balls. You could tip over in the weight balls. True, what else? You're in control. In control, what else? 